about food, about transportation businesses in Northeast Wisconsin that could benefit from the RNC and all of the visitors. Now to the business of security and the work of keeping people and places safe during the convention. David Marrero hopes his company receives some of that work. We saw the gear and a man ready to put it to use. This is Tribal Global Security in Brown County. The company started in 2013. It was uh, kind of the brainchild of a group of veterans. We started it after returning back from Afghanistan. David Marrero talked about what the RNC could mean for the business where he's CEO. It's a big opportunity for most security companies in Green, you know, Green Bay, Wisconsin in general to kind of pitch in and there's going to be a lot of work uh, protecting different establishments, uh, people. They can be hired to protect a specific person called executive protection. But that's not their main business. We focus more on site security, large areas that need our type of, of security brand. Our brand is you know, more of a deterrence. We're not mall cops, so you know, we're, we're very active, we're very proactive. He talked about who might hire security companies like Tribolt. Private entities, private businesses that are going to be in the general area, they're going to have a lot of foot traffic, potentially more crime. Um, are going to require private security services. Part of what the company offers is security you can see, like this metal detector. And part of what they offer is security you're not supposed to be able to see, like workers who blend right in. Marrero says the hope is to be as useful as we could possibly be to the RNC and the people that are coming to it. How many total people will be working on security during the RNC? The most recent Republican National Convention before the pandemic was in 2016 in Cleveland. And there were 5,500 total law enforcement officers working on security. That includes 3,000 federal officers, as well as 2,000 officers from out of state to assist the Cleveland PD. And then there were 500 Cleveland police officers. Up next, we talk with the chief operating officer of the Milwaukee 2024 host committee.